Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to be going over the PayHip course feature. This is going to be perfect for you if you're looking to sell courses online as it's very seamless, it's simple to use, and have a lot of great bells and whistles that's going to be great for selling your courses online. Let's get started with this tutorial and demo. Now, first and foremost, there's going to be a few different product types that you can use. You got digital, physical products, coaching services. There's going to be one more down here, subscription billing, but obviously we're going to be doing the courses. So let's click on the course button. Here I want to give this a name. Give me a sec, I'm going to do that. And now that we have our course title, let's click on Add Course. All right, so here we are with these sections and the lessons. Think of this kind of like a book. The sections are going to be the big chapters and the lessons are going to be the content that's going to be within them. So for example, this would be like the introduction section. Next section might be like the first big step. Next section might be the next big step and so on and so forth. I'm actually going to upload some of my course so you can see exactly how that works. First and foremost, the first section for me is usually going to be the introduction. So I'm going to keep that there and check mark to save it. Let's click on add new lesson, which is going to go in this specific section. Okay. And the first video, usually this is going to be what it is. If it is a video, obviously you can do text and other things, but that's going to be the introduction video. Let me click on this. And this is what's going to allow us to choose the lesson type. Now we have videos, we have texts, we have quiz, we have downloads, we have surveys, assignments, and embeds. Keep in mind, if you want to use videos, you're going to want to use the video or the embed section. Most likely you'll probably want to use the embed. This is good if you have like, you can use YouTube for an embed. You can use Vimeo, you can use Wistia. I have a Dillo, so I'm going to be using that. So if I click on embed, I can do that. And what I need is going to be the embed code. So I already have this open right here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it in here. And of course, there are going to be some of the extra options like add text. You can see here, add downloads. For example, if you have like a PDF or a cheat sheet, or maybe like an introduction, like this is what we're going to be doing for the class that can go there. Here are some of the lesson settings so that you can get used to those in future. Uh, publish lesson. Sure. Why not? You can make this a free preview lesson. You can make it a prerequisite. If I click over this, it says students will be required to complete this lesson before they can access lessons in the next section. I really like that. That means that if you have a really important video, they have to watch this. And you know, if you've ever sold courses before, there's going to be some things that your students just cannot miss. So that's a really good feature there. It makes sure that like, hey, if you want to see the rest of this, you have to watch this because it's very important. Okay. Enable discussion for this lesson. And of course, remove margins on course player if you want. This is going to be the lesson icon and labels. You can actually remove these if you want for each of the sections, but I'm just going to keep it how it is. Let's click on save changes and we can preview how it looks. Something to keep in mind when it comes to the embed, you can change around the uh, the fixedness of it, like with the length by width in terms of responsive. This is just something I use quickly, but I do like how it's smaller. When I do click on it and open it up. Hey, it's James Canzanella, and th thank I you so much it. for picking up my... I don't, it's going to talk over me, obviously. I can make it bigger and smaller, though. So that's going to be up to you how big or small you want the video. Uh, I personally like it like that. And then, of course, they can make it bigger. And the reason why there's no buttons there is because that's just how I have it set up in the Dillo. So it's either play, pause, you know, the volume, or make it bigger. But that's that. Let's go back. So that doesn't look too bad. Let's go back to curriculum. And what I want to do is add a couple more lessons because usually in each section, there's going to be something else that you want to utilize. So let's do add new lesson. And this one's going to be called the Affilio Blueprint Explained. Let's click on check. And once again, what I want to do is open this up. I'm going to be using another embed once again for most of my videos. If you are going to be using embeds, then you know, you're probably going to be using this specific lesson type more often. Allow me to get the copy paste code. And so I have that. I'm going to paste that in there. Once again, uh, text is going to be optional or we can you know, just put something here. Like, I hope you enjoy this video. It's quick, but it shows you exactly what you'll need to be doing in this course to see results. Something like that. I just wanted to put some text there quickly to show you what it's going to look like. I uh, can do place text below the embed code. Yes, definitely under the video. Add downloads, nothing there. But let's make it published and let's click on save changes. Okay. And once again, let's preview this current lesson. And there we go. Hope you enjoy this video. It's quick, but it shows you exactly what you'll need to be doing in this course to see results. So far, so good, right? So we have the lessons, we have the section. Let's create another section actually, just so you can see how we keep continuing on from there. So let's go back there. 
And now what we want to do is a new section. This button is going to be right here. And for this course, the next section is going to be the sales funnel because it's a very important part of the course. So everything related to like the sales funnel is going to be underneath that. And of course, those are going to be where our lessons are. So that's the next section, obviously, since it's underneath. And of course, we want to add our lessons to that. Let's change around the name of it. So we have the two-step sales funnel part one. Let's save that. And what I can actually do is just duplicate this because this is going to be part two. I can remove the copy just to save some time. Oops, clicked off and let's do part two. Oop, that's three. Last time I checked, <laughs> save. Okay. Now what I want to do is obviously go back to this. We're going to do the same process here. Of course, if you're doing something different, you can always add quizzes at the end, which I'll show you some of the more of these demos. But once again, let's do embed and allow me to get the embed code really quickly. Here's so I pasted that in. Uh, no text on this one. Once again, let's publish it. And everything looks good there. We can save that. And once again, we can preview it just to see what it looks like. Perfect. And of course, we haven't done this one. So let's do that one as well. Let's go back, back to curriculum. I think you kind of get the idea when it comes to uploading and adding things to it. Let's click on this. And once again, I'm going to do an embed. And of course, I'm going to get the copy and paste embed code for you. One sec. Let's paste this in there. I'm going to make this published and of course, save. And once again, we can preview, we can do all course lessons. So we have our introduction. Also, what you can do is do the complete and continue. So when your students are utilizing this, they'll know what they've gone through. And then obviously they can move through the course that way. Sales funnel. Then we have part one and part two. All right, really cool. So let's go back once again. And what I want to do is show you some of the other things that you can utilize. So back to curriculum. Let's say that you gave a ton of information that was very important. So what we want to do is add a new lesson here. And I'm just going to go into this. We can change around the name of it later. Let's say we want to do a quiz. Okay. Once again, with the quiz, we can do a new question, one correct answer or multiple. What is the main goal of the squeeze page? Okay. Question mark. Choice one. Show off your brand. And add new choice. Generate leads. Okay. So we have three options. And explanation. You're going to want to generate, oops, generate leads here and nothing else. Okay. Let's publish this. Uh, let's see. You can enable discussion. Needs a passing grade. Yes, you need a passing grade. <laughs> and 100%. Since there's only one question, I hope they get it right. Let's save changes. Oops, I forgot to select the correct answer. Let's do that, which is going to be right here. There we go. Check off that box and let's click on save. And I'm going to go back here. And what I can do is change this now. Let's see. Pop quiz. I guess it's not a pop quiz if I let them know, right? But uh, that's cool. What we can do is preview to all course lessons. And of course, we have our sales funnel and then we have our pop quiz. So what is the main goal of the squeeze page? Choose only one best answer. Make sales, show off your brand. Let's go with generate leads. Let's submit. And congratulations, the answer is correct. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Aside from the fact that they have the prerequisites, you can also quiz them, which is really good. Make sure they're learning what they actually need to learn because not only is learning one thing, but once you know that, they have to do it. You know, if they're like, we need a squeeze page to show off your brand, yeah, that's great, but it's probably not going to be the main goal. You know, if you're not generating leads, you're just kind of throwing money out the window if you're advertising. Anyway, let's do one more lesson. I just want to show you what else it's capable of when it comes to creating your course and adding a lot of cool things to it to help your students, obviously. So we also have these surveys, the assignments and downloads. Allow me to open up the download section. And what I want to do is upload a file. Give me a second and I'm going to grab one from this course. All right. So I put here's the blueprint that you can save for your reference or for reference. I will make this published and I'm going to save this. Let's go back to the curriculum. And this, I believe this one here was it. So we have our uh, blueprint download. 
And one thing I do want to do is let's say, oh, I forgot this blueprint download shouldn't be here. You know, this should be in the other one because we explained that. So what we can do is we can drag this and we can just place it right there just like that. Drag and drop. Notice that bar went by. That means it's saved. So let's preview how everything looks. So we have our embed, our video, our video, and then of course we have the download. If they want to download that, they can do that right there. Here's the blueprint that you can save for reference. So this is great. We have our videos, we have our embeds, we have our quizzes, and we also have the option to write text there, which is pretty basic, but obviously standard and needed. And now we have the ability to add blueprints, downloads, PDF files, which is going to be very important because a lot of times people might want slides. They, they might want something that they could save and print out and keep next to the computer. Everyone learns differently. So it's great that you have a lot of different aspects to be able to do that. And of course, help your students in the process. So with that being said, that's a basic overview of how you can actually get started when it comes to just uploading your course to the platform. There are plenty of other great things here, as you can see here with the settings, pages, prices, students, certificates, video library, drip, and of course, publishing it, which you need to do before it goes live. I want to talk about a few of these things and just kind of scroll over them just so you can see. Here we have the title. We do have our uh, product thumbnail shown on store listing. I'm going to actually upload this so you can see what it looks like. Give me a sec. Okay, so there's the thumbnail. We have some advanced options when it comes to automatically subscribing customers to a mailing list. Uh, this product is tax exempt. Author details. One sec. I'm also going to add my profile image as well. Okay, there we have. Let's click on save changes. And those are just some of the settings that you can expect from that. Let's look at the course pages as well. This is going to be where your sales page is, where your checkout page is, and of course your thank you page. I'm just going to view this really quick so you can see what it looks like. And so keep in mind, this is just going to be like the basic starter template. Here we have our title, the description, where some of the text is going to be. And then the bottom, it automatically updates and adds to what we've created so far in this. So they can see the curriculum. I think that's pretty cool. So all that's going to be self-added. And of course, everything else up here you can change. That's what's going to be in the edit section. Same with the checkout page and of course, the thank you page. Aside from that, there also is going to be a certificates aspect, which is cool. You can reward your students who complete their course with a certificate. So if I click on add first, so there are going to be some certificates that you can choose from. I happen to like the really simple one right here that's highlighted. Okay, then we have content also that you can choose the certificate of completion. This is the certify has studied and success uh, text below course name right there. Course name, it showed up right there. Issued certificate date. And then we have design as well. So if we want to change this around, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I know it looks simple, but you know, this is something you can obviously do. You can put your logo there if you like as well. But if I click on save or add certificate, this is going to be how that adds. Great. And this is automatically going to be updated by the student name. And of course, the course name, which is right there as well. Pretty cool, right? Let's look at one more thing I want to bring up. This is going to be the drip section. This is good if you want to drip feed out your content. This is very popular feature when it comes to any type of membership or courses. This is good because sometimes you don't want to give your students all of your information at once. Doing that can kind of make them feel like they're just, you know, their head's going to explode, like kind of like an information overload type of thing. So if you want to do that, you have the option to. Okay. So based on the student enrollment date, the student course start date or on a specific date. And as you'll see all these sections and the uh, lessons that we have here, this will be released zero days. So when you have zero days, everything is just ready for them. However, you could do one day at a time, like this would be released in one day. This could be two, three, four. That's going to be completely up to you. But if you want to do that, that is your option. Or what you could even do is have a bonus. Say like after 30 days, what happens, you could have a separate section where say this was a bonus here. Just this one would be 30 days where you say like, hey, if you go 30 days, if you make it through, you're going to also get a bonus of, you know, X, Y, Z, a case study, a live workshop, whatever it's going to be, just another idea that you can utilize to have more value to your course and so that your students like it overall. But overall, that was a quick tutorial when it comes to utilizing the course feature. I do want to talk about more PayHip and what they have to offer. What's great about them is that they do have simple pricing. You can get started now, no card required as it shows. It's, so in the beginning, it's free forever, it's $0 a month, and you're just paying 5% on the transaction fee. Eventually, once if that starts to add more, obviously you can go to here where this would make sense going to plus if this is going to be less than this. Then of course, if you find that you're paying more than 99 a month, then you would go to pro. But I like that how it starts off free forever. Then of course, there's no other fees unless you wanted to utilize like their video uploading, which I believe is around $5 a month. Or you can just do what I did when it comes to embedding like on YouTube or Vimeo or Wistia, whatever it's going to be, but they do have very simple pricing and I like that. But I hope you got some value out of this when it comes to using their course feature. I will put a link down below where you can actually get started for free and test this out yourself, uploading your course, start getting some students and go from there. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you soon.